point I'm just going to put some acetone on my cotton and just clean the dice. Especially pay attention to the tips. I'm cleaning these this carefully because I did 20 of these originally and these two, um, they're supposed to have two colored corners and one corner just completely fell off. And I don't know how long I played with them before I noticed, which means I had a severe disadvantage. I want to be sure that this particular failure mode doesn't happen. I'm going to clean these two and repaint them. This nail polish that I'm using is it's a soak off and it doesn't even come off with acetone. To color two sides of my dice I need to make a little jig. So I need a drill bit. I'll just pick one out. around my lab and found this clamp and this board to help me make this jig. I want to drill right there. I'm going to really jam it up in there so it holds it steady and then I can just drill. It doesn't have to go all the way through. Depending on the quality of your clothespins, if they twist sideways, it shoots your dice across the workbench. So what I do is, as soon as I get it in there, make another clothespin and stop it from opening side to side. Then you take a, yet another clothespin this way, and now you have a little stand for your dice. Now since I went to all the trouble to clean those dice, I'm going to put on some more gloves. It's not the neoprene ones anymore, these are just cotton gloves to keep my skin oils off of the dice. These are some I had from back when I used to do photography and you need them for film. product I'm using to color the dice is Uno by Gelish Mini One Step Soak Off Nail Gel Polish. This is 5 milliliters in the color classic vinyl. It has some instructions in here. Apply two thin coats. Cure in between each coat using on the go or Pro 45 LED light. Well I'm going to use the sun. See, it goes on easily and you can get it good and thin. I want it thin. Whoops. I don't want to, um, I don't want it gloopy, so I'm trying to get it evenly thin. And I'd rather do several thin coats than one big gloopy coat. I think if it's gloopy, it chips off. This is just a theory, a hypothesis. Yeah. Now I'll go put this outside in the sun. This is my low budget ultraviolet curing light. After the first coat cures in the sun, it's time to do another coat. Just brush it on right over the first one. After two thin coats, the dice look like this. Um, it's a good contrast. I'm not going to do any more coats because I'm afraid of too much buildup will make it more brittle. 